I'm going to spend several hours playing to master all the swords that exist in Bloch's Fruits, ranging from common rarity to mythical rarity, even though some of them are completely time-consuming. For example, the Rengoku, whose last skill can only be unlocked with 350 mastery. And I decided to do this because today I asked subscribers to send me the most difficult challenges they could think of. And they thought about it and sent me complex challenges such as Marco007 who said the following. Lucas, I doubt you and Samuka will plunder your brother's fruit treasury and take his most valuable fruits. Oh, so you doubt that I'm brave enough to do that? Ha ha, boy! Are you sure we're going to do it? It's a lot of treasure, man. Samuka, are you asking me if I'm sure? Do you want to go back to On Cactus or not? Dude, this is the chance of a lifetime. Let's pull off an epic heist. In fact, look at this. There's even a quake here, all alone. Whitebeard's fruit. You've convinced me, but I don't think I'll have that much room for my inventory, buddy. You'll have to keep it in Samuka, yours. Samuka, let's store everything we can. We're going to clean out my brother's treasure and put it all in our inventory, my friend. Shall we? Yes, let's go. Oh my god, Holy it cow. even crashed my game, man. It crashed mine too, man. It crashed mine too. I've got a lot of fruit here. I'm going to store the best ones. Even the falcon rubber. My god, there's so much fruit, it's hard to choose. Man, magma. I'm going to take these magmas and donate them to the crew and also to the subscribers. Best fruit for hunting sea beasts, man. What a lot of magma lying around. We'll be able to finish this by the evening. There are even some legendary fruits here. The phoenix. On top of a pile of common, man, it's a mountain. <laughs> Samuka, here's the thing. We've already eaten the good fruits. Take that quake over there, which is the last valuable fruit. Where is it? Where? I'll store all the valuable ones, like the magmas and the light. Yeah, I think it's all gone now, huh? My brother has been spinning these fruits all day, Samuka. If we're wrong, this isn't a day, it's a week. There must have been 500 fruits here. Man, it takes two hours to spin a fruit. If we calculate it here, on average, there must be 50 fruits. And the most bizarre thing is that they leave this account here. Level one, holding the server. Can you kill it? Can we it kill it? It would be so funny if we could reset the server. No, let's leave this account there. Because no one saw us come in here, Samuka. In fact, we have to be like the ninjas of the leaf village. No one can spot us. We sneaked in and we're going to leave without anyone having seen us. Chill and quiet, chill and quiet. Let's go, but Samuka, I hear there's more fruit inside the cafe, man. More fruit? The guys don't even have room to store fruit, man. A Buddha in the soup, kid. Spider fruit stored. Okay, Samuka, now it's time to get out without anyone seeing us, buddy. Come on, let's get going. Hey, you over there! What are you doing here on our server? Yeah, we came to record something. Our server has crashed. We can't get into it, get it? Wait a minute! Where's our fruit? Well, they're all there, don't you see? 300 fruits up ahead, my friend. No, it's not. There's a lot of fruit missing over there. There's lots of fruit, man. Samuka, we'd better get the heck out. Let's run off, man. Oh, you'll pay for it. I'll tell my captain everything. Run, Samuka! We'll come back for more. Yeah, that was epic. Just not more epic than this challenge. Yuri King, Lucas, choose 10 subscribers from the channel to spin a fruit. And whoever spins the most valuable fruit, you have to give the permanent one, even if it turns into a kitsune. A kitsune? But then this guy wants to bankrupt me. The server is already completely full of players. And now we'll see. Whoever gets the most valuable fruit wins the permanent one. Here's the deal, everyone. Everyone come to the Zyles. Here's what we're going to do. Everyone gets on top of those Zyolis and we're going to glitch them. And everyone's already spinning the fruit, but they won't show me which one they got. Everyone spins the fruit. Spin, spin, my friend, go ahead, spin! Did everyone spin it? Has everyone spun the fruit in their inventory? Don't show it to me. And now everyone comes here to the cafeteria. If you've already spun the fruit, come here to the cafeteria. And here's the deal. Make a queue and everyone will give me the fruit they've spun. To prove, of course, that it's real. That's it, we'll start here in order. Hippie Naruto will be first. Hand over the fruit you got, Naruto. You got a falcon? That's good fruit, man. Congratulations. Next up is Luke Stars. He got a rocket. You're definitely not going to win. Rise of Blue. You got a cut fruit. Okay, cut fruit. It's not that great. Foxton, a fox head. Oh boy, he got a little spring fruit. Think, no, it's spin. Good stuff, huh? Good stuff. Smoke an admiral. Oh, no way. It's not possible. 
Hand it over. You think I was born yesterday, right? Scammer, you bastard. You can go to the other side. You didn't spin anything, huh? You bastard. Rip NASA. He's got a light. Holy cow, a light. Perm, not bad. That's incredible. So far, it's the best spun fruit. It was Hypnasa's. Gabriel, a bird fruit. Give me that great Amoraz Bin Hotel. My God, Amoraz Bin Hotel? What kind of shitty name is that, man? Give me that bomb. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Luffy, this Luffy here is a bit strange. Hand the fruit over, Luffy. Lucas, I didn't want to give you my spirit that I spun. Well, if you give me that spirit in your hand, you'll get it permanently. Or do you think you're going to scam me? Luffy, hand it over. Look at that dirty scammer. <laughs> and finally, there's Mur. No way, bro. Did you get a shadow? Hand over the shadow then. Yeah, another scammer. So, of all the participants, the one who spun the best fruit was Hypnasa. And I'm going to buy him a perm light fruit right now. Holy cow, bro. 1100 Robux on this little fruit, which is also one of the coolest to be permanent. Hypnasa sat down and got a free light perm. Another challenge successfully completed. Giving away a permanent fruit is nothing like this. Lucas, if you're the king of the seven seas, I doubt you'd hunt down a leviathan and trade its heart for a mythical scroll. Then enchant a sword with the blessing or curse enchantment at the weird NPC. And to hunt the leviathan, I've invited none other than the subscribers themselves. After all, I might find a new talent to join on Cactus. We've paid, we've paid the frags, we're ready. Oh, he told me to, I've fallen off the wagon. And the subscriber said he'd already made the payment. And now we're going to take the beast and we're going out piloting. Boy, I'm the pilot here, please excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to hunt the sea beast. Now things get tough and if you stay, you'll get eaten. And we're still invading C2 now. Obviously, I'm going to equip one of the best fruits for hunting sea beast magma. And now I'm going to equip the Kitsune mask. It improves our observations as the seas get darker. We found the Leviathan, guys. And now we can get in here and summon this gigantic sea beast. With a million HP, it's so beautiful. And now, guys, we have to finish him off to take his heart, right? So the subscribers and I started defeating this sea beast piece by piece of its bod. I was using magma and most of my subscribers were using Buddha fruit. Finally, we defeated all the parts and until we reached the head defeating the Leviathan. Take our little dirty boat and throw the harpoon straight into the Leviathan's heart. After that, we just need to take the heart back to Tiki Outpost. Best of all, we get to hunt this sea beast live. And everyone is sending a message to you who were watching the hunt. It was hard work, but we did it. And after all that, I'm here with a mythical scroll. Ready to make the trade with the weirdo. And man, I'm going to try to enchant my draconic trident. Since we only talk about dragons, I'm going to try to enchant this trident. Come here, let's enchant it. This fire wine is going to be bizarre, okay? We've got one chance to charm it. I've tried to charm this trident every way. Come on, boy. Come on, Beast 1. Efficiency 2. Luck 1. Natural 2. Sharpen 1. Scythe 1. Vampiric 2. <laughs> okay, Lucas. I doubt you can bug the Xyles and spin more than one fruit at the same time. It's obvious that you can spin the Xyles more than once at the same time. And I'll explain how. The secret is in this door. You just have to go out of it, talk to the Xyles, spin a fruit, put the fruit next to it and come back to the door. And now, just go back and talk to the Xyles and it will release another fruit. Now I've got to shoot back to the door and back to the Xyles. This time the Xyles gave me a rumble. How absurd. Back to the door, back again. And this time the Zeals delivered me a beautiful dark. I went back to the door and now I'm sure you want to know what the secret is, right? All right, I'll show you. The secret is to have several clones, bro. <laughs> Challenge successfully completed. Lucas, change Luan's account while he's not at home. It'll be funny. I took advantage of Daddy Clash going to the gym. And if you don't know, I live very close to Daddy Clash's studio and his account is always logged in because he's holding fruit treasures. And now that I'm here, it's interesting to see that Daddy Clash only has 254,000 berries. 
Since you asked me to prank his account, I'll have to take it a bit easy too because he's my older brother, right? And if I fix what? Guys, he's got 136 dragons? That's a lot of dragons, bro. If I eat one dragon, I think it'll be a pretty good prank. And he won't notice. I'll wolf down a little dragon here. It's just a drag. We feel like remembering the taste of this fruit. It's been a long time since I've had a fruit like that. Luan's going to be very angry with me, man, when he finds out I'm doing this on his account. All right. Luan even has a Christmas cape. Lucky me. When I did the event, I couldn't get that cape. Let's see if he has any valuable items. Yeah, Luan's account used to be better, huh? Apparently he doesn't have any- Oh! Kitsune Perm, Buddha Perm, Ace Perm, and Dark Blade. Comment now because if you do, I might be able to hack his account again. And give one of you a Kitsune Perm or even Buddha. Guys, to make this trophy even better, I think I could pass on some Robux from the GG Pro War group. To my account, bro, exactly. He's got 35,000 Robux to spare. That's why he's like this, right? With the high treasures. So can I get some Robux for myself? Clash on Lucas, perfect. I'm in his group and I'll get nothing more, nothing less. An amount he won't realize, right? If it falls below 30,000, he'll notice. So I'll get 5,000, 5,000 Robux. That'll be enough to do a lot of things. Oh, damn, guys, I'd forgotten. Luan's going to receive an email that someone is trying to get the Robuxes. That's my cue to get out of here. I'll be damned. Lucas, I know it's very difficult, but I doubt you'll master all the swords and blocks fruits. Of the 38 swords and blocks fruits, 32 of them I've already mastered. I'm just six swords short of having completely mastered them all. And the strategy for mastering a sword is very simple, okay? Behind my bald head, you just need to equip the sword with a Buddha fruit. And that's when I started doing my crazy tests. And believe it or not, my Coco Sword is at Mastery 1. And I started recording with the counter on the screen to get an idea of how long it would take me to reach 325 Mastery with this sword. Of course, with the strategy of using the Buddha Fruit and defeating monsters on the Candy Islands. Because I believe that this island is even better than Tick Outpost for mastering any sword or fruit. And it took me exactly 12 minutes and 15 seconds to master this sword. Then I could take it off the list by making a big red X on it. I went to Turtle Island, the perfect place to steal my Jita. Admiral Smoker's sword. And it took about 15 minutes to master the Jita. Another sword had just come off my list. I mastered my Rengoku in the Haunted Castle. I think it's a good idea to defeat these monsters with a Demon Slayer sword, right? And it took me about 20 minutes to get it to Mastery 350. Rengoku, check! I also took the opportunity to upgrade the Cavender on Sweet Island, along with the Buddy Sword, which I only needed to get to Mastery 300. Cavender and Buddy Sword, check! And now I'm here with Twin Rooks at Mastery 295. And it's obvious that I had to do something different, to, like trying to set this sword's mastery to maximum by defeating a boss. But apparently Big Mom doesn't want to show up. But we're going to make her show up by force. With 50 Robux, Big Mom has just showed up. And man, I have no idea what Twin Rook's last skill is. And I'm curious to know. When I turned into Buddy, I started using these two very bizarre double scythes. Even macabre! And I went after Big Mom, who is even taking a life that, oh my gosh, let's go! It's the last sword I need to get everything mastered. Yes, in fact it uploaded and even went to 306. And now in addition to the Z, which launches this mini tornado, we have the X. Boy, what's that? I need to hit someone. How about this NPC? Take that! Boy, what's that? It could be cooler, right? It could be. But there's one thing that's cooler than that. Mythic scrolls obtained for 1,500 Robux. Why do I say that? If you've been following my saga to get that fire out of Yoru and put a curse enchantment on it, you'll know that I haven't been able to do that for a long time and I've already spent a lot of Robux. And to take advantage of the fact that we've mastered all the swords, I'm gonna see if Dragon Tail is a sage. Yeah, it's in a good mood today. And you can take out burning and put in curse. Jesus Christ, you've got power, man. Go on, kid. First scroll! Rage 1, Deadly 4. Fortune level 1, shop 2, vampiric 1, rage. Okay, I swore I was going for it. That's very satisfying. All right. Deadly 1. Efficiency 3, natural 1, shop 2, vampiric 2. Unreal. 
It really is unreal. I can't believe it. Oh, my last scroll, man. Whatever God wants, bro. Deadly one, efficiency one, elemental two, piercing two, sharp three, unreal. All right, we can't have everything in life, right? A hug from your friend Lucas. God bless you. Bye-bye.